and said, hmm, <laughs> well, they prayed for me. They told me I could do it. I'm not going to make a lie out of them. Mm -hmm. Now, if he hadn't stepped in and redirected the course of the, the national banking system, we'd all be hungry right this minute. That's right. We'd all be hungry, not just broke, not just wish we could go shopping next week. This nation would be hungry. And just like those people are suffering in Haiti, we wouldn't have had no earthquake and we'd have been just as destroyed as Haiti right now. If the president of this country had stepped up and done what the rest of them didn't have the guts to do, and that was tell the truth. That's right. He said, we doing business in the sunlight. We ain't going behind doors no more. He said, and I didn't come in here to keep things the same. They told me they want to change, and by George, we're going to change. <laughs> so, if the President of the United States has the guts and the courage to change, guess what that means for us? Any excuse that I use to keep from doing what I know is right is just an excuse for me to keep doing some silly stuff. That's just a lie I'm telling myself to keep me twisted and confused. Well, even if I don't think I'm worth telling the truth, I got children and grandchildren that I want to show something different. I got prayers of my ancestors that I'm standing on, love that I'm standing on, that I owe them more than, not that they gave me, that they were in a position to give me. They gave me everything they could possibly give me. And so I owe the same thing. So, in closing, first, do not pass on that our ancestors were slaves, because they weren't. They were human beings first. That's right. Don't let them keep writing our history, because they lied too much. Yeah. My grandma told me they was the biggest liars in the world, yeah. and they are. Yeah. So I'm not afraid of the truth. That's right. I have a lot of people who died for the truth, yeah. and I can stand on their shoulders today not afraid to tell the truth. That's right. And so if y'all don't get nothing else, please, Teach your children and your grandchildren and your great-grandchildren that our history states that our hope, our hope is we're human. Amen. The joy of our hope is that we're here. And we have a responsibility to not leave this world as jacked up as it is right now. Amen. Amen. you all earlier that the Holy Ghost would bring all things yes, back to remember. Yes, yes. She had a total different message. She heard us singing, Jesus keep me near the cross. The Lord directed her in a total different way. All you got to do is be open unto the Spirit. Amen. And he'll do just that. At this time, we have one more guest who's willing to do a song or talk or something. But as, let us give Brother Charles Williams a hand as he come in his own way. It is my 
uh, pep song. Mm -hmm. It's a song that I sing when I'm down, when I'm depressed, yeah. when uh, I'm confused. Yeah. I sing this song and after a period of time, even though the problem is still occurring and uh, as what another song says, the billows are, are rising and the waves are lashing up against me. I, I, yeah, I know it is. <laughs> I, I'm still able to stand strong. So this is what I want y'all to do. We're going to just, we're going to kind of clap our hands and then we're going to do like
then we'll turn it over to the pulpit. Let me see. You gotta follow me for 